We went back in time to Addy in a previous video, and although that wasn't the version of Addy I remember, it's still the same age range of 7 to 8. But Addy Boo is for even littler kids aged 4 to 7, and was my first experience with the... Uh, franchise, I guess you call it. And I remember this one having a lot of creepy stuff in it. Stuff that's burned into my mind forever. So, uh, let's dive right in, shall we? Oh man, that little jingle brings me back to my nightmares. Actually, I didn't have nightmares about this. Well, maybe I did. I don't remember. I, I, I'm really excited to see what the fuck this is all about. Oh, <laughs> there you are. You really look great. Hey, uh, don't worry about being polite. It's okay. You can say it. I know what I am. I accept it. It's fine. Oh, now I'm getting to know you a bit better. Adibu, you have a terribly annoying voice. I don't know what it is about it, but I'm pretty sure it's like a female voice actor that's trying to be a little boy, and uh, it doesn't don't really work. Okay, my age, uh, oh, whatever, let's just put today's date. Wait, I can't do 2017? Wow, how very arbitrary. They allow the last number to go to six, but not further? Why on earth would you stop there? Welcome to my magical wonderland. It's a children's paradise, full of exciting ways to have fun and discover and learn. You can play at being a gardener Hold in the vegetable on a patch. Tick. I'm just Build tightening up my screws. Or we paint them. <laughs> <There as we>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember doing this all the time. Okay, there's fucking nothing here. This game sucks. Now this is the shit. This is what I remember the most. Good choice. It's your turn to play now. Click on the pieces to do the jigsaw. This is not a jigsaw, you idiot. It's a slide puzzle. And I hate slide puzzles. Oh, shit. I'm so dumb. How can this be so challenging for me? Ah, fuck. Wait, did, did that just go diagonal? Oh my god, it, it was a jigsaw. It just looks like a slide puzzle. I'm an idiot. And that's why I remember Adibu. The rest of the game is boring. You bake cakes and draw and fuck around with masks and plant seeds and whatever, it's nothing. This is Adibu. These animated pictures here. And the fact that some of them are downright creepy makes them all the more memorable. And they're really loud. Compared to the rest of the game's sound, these just blow the fuck out of the speakers. <laughs> and that's not a problem if you know how to turn down a computer speaker, but as a little kid, you have no idea what to do. You're being actively terrified. Are you gonna lean forward and turn the knob on the speaker? No, you're gonna hide in the corner like a sensible person. I think I had nightmares about this. Which is good. You're supposed to have nightmares as a kid. If you're never exposed to anything terrifying at a young age, you grow up unable to cope with real scary things like paying rent and black people. Anyway, these are great and I would highly recommend watching them on YouTube. I think they're on YouTube somewhere. If not, I'll upload them. But you know what isn't great? 
most everything else in this game. There's the cake baking minigame, which gets old immediately because of how long it takes to add all the ingredients, and then watch it get eaten by either the dog or the monster guy. If you fuck up the recipe, it's the monster guy, and if you get it right, it's the dog. But I always preferred when the monster ate it because the animation was way more satisfying. The dog just seems to lick the fucking thing and then throw it away. Cunt. Come on, I, I made it good. You don't- you gotta eat the whole thing. Yeah, the other guy ate the whole thing. Were you, were you fucking stupid dog? Get out of here, dog. I do not like dogs. They are shit. There's this radio that never fucking shuts up with terrible jokes and one guy who really likes them. Said the witch to the skeleton, Oh, come on, there's a party down the road. Why don't you go? I haven't anybody to go with. <laughs> Then there's the theatre, which I remember being quite fun, because you place a bunch of little characters on the set and watch them interact. But for some reason they were taking ages to move, and some of them never moved or did anything at all. Except this kid. I always liked this kid. He never disappoints me. <laughs> and then there's fucking TV Addiboo, which is a collection of little cartoons of Addy and the gang getting up to mischief. None of them are even remotely funny, and I don't remember enjoying them as a kid either. The most memorable of these was the Three Little Cats song, which is memorable because I hated how long it went on for, and I don't believe you could escape once you had started it. And I guess there's some other shit, but I don't care. The main thing is I experienced those creepy animations again. That's what I wanted. There was an expansion that we had though, one that I remember far more fondly because it had a 3D environment which was very, very new and cool. And that's the real reason I wanted to go back. I wanted to drive my little car in I Discover Science, an Adibu story. Welcome to the land of science. And there it is. Look at all the places you can explore. Look at that. You even have a little car, all to yourself. You can use it to drive from one place to another. God, I love this. I love it so much. There's the Adibu's house and the tree, and it just sort of makes the world feel bigger because you can now go to all these other places. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Good. You can change levels at any time by clicking on the clown. Just one piece of advice. Don't start with the hardest level. Excuse me? Don't presume to know how smart I am. I can take three clown balls at once, okay? Dude, fuck you! If you click on this ear, I'll repeat what I just said. If you click on this ear, I'll repeat what I just said. If you click on this <laughs> I'm, I'm literally a child. Okay, how do I drive? I want to hit the road. It's been years since I've seen this stuff. I'm, I, I'm so excited. I, I just, bleh. Ah, well, I guess that's to be expected. Actually, the recording of this is much worse than what I actually saw on the monitor while I was playing. All I got was the occasional black frame. Other than that, it ran surprisingly well. Much faster than it would have on the old Windows 95. Ah. This is what I wanted. The sound effects are so soothing. There's no rush, hardly any other cars, maybe just one. And, and it's exactly as relaxing as I remembered it. Take the next right if you want to travel through the land of ghosts. Oh boy, I remember Ghostland. I bet it won't even be scary. <laughs> Look at it. How very quaint. Oh. Not quaint at all. Oh my god, watch out for that snake! Whew. Well, unfortunately, nothing aside from the driving is fun or interesting. The little puzzles are okay, I guess, but the worst thing about them is that if you win, you get an unskippable song and dance routine that is always terrible. Let's have a song, cause you're number one. Not only that, but every time you get something wrong, you're told what the correct answer is, and then you're given information about it. If you get it right, you're just told that you're so clever, and you have to sit through the fucking songs. It's literally more educational and fun for you to deliberately fuck up. Forget all that though, it's time to race. You're on the champion racetrack now. Let me introduce the other competitors. The ghost. The naughty bozzy golem. My friend Pup, you, you've got two laps to do. The winner is the first one to cross the finish. Get ready. Three, 
two, one, go! Yay! You're doing well. Oh, well, this is easy. All right, I'm bored. My nostalgia craving has been completely sated. I didn't expect this game to hold my attention for really any time at all because I knew, deep down, that it was complete shit. But I'm glad I could make a video out of it at least. You're the best! You're a racing king, so now let's sing! No!